this is the X Blender. I've been waiting for this my whole life because I do like to use effects on bass. And the big problem with using effects on bass is uh, when you kick an effect in, you lose all your low end. So you've got, if we're going to kick in this arpeggiator here, you'd be playing along. And when you kick it in, what happened to the bass player? There's, there's no low end, which is, it's a cool effect unto itself, but with this thing, you have a, uh, a way of blending your wet and your dry signal in. You can use it as just a regular loop where you bring the effect in and out without using that, but I'm using it with this knob. This great knob here uh, allows me to have this guy going, go from dry, and I can blend in as much of the uh, arpeggiator as I want, which is what I'm using on right now. So you can still be a bass player and kind of have some fun effects going on at the same time without losing your, your uh, low end. Uh, another cool feature of this is, again, you can use it as that or you can use it just as a straight on-off loop. And uh, if you're just going to go with that. I like it this way, though. Uh, it also has a boost switch on it right here, which for passive basses, you can kind of boost the signal up to keep up with everything else. It's got a volume. The volume actually gives you the volume of your dry signal passing through when you're using the blend knob. Uh, and it's also got EQ, which is kind of cool because some of these effects do kill some of your tone. I've got the low end boosted a little bit on this one for when I'm using the arpeggiator. And you can kind of kill it and add a super high end crisp if you want. But we're keeping it kind of in there. Very hip. And also it has this a phase shift switch on it that uh, will invert or leave it normal. A lot of older effects you need to reverse the phase so that it will work in with some of the newer effects. So you can use old effects in this guy uh, and it will put the phase correct for you. Uh, the other pedal I'm using here in with the X Blender is the Robotalk. This is one of the crazier pedals that I've come across in a while. It's this great arpeggiating thing, doing all these just random arpeggiators arpeggios and uh, kind of hard to use until I got the X Blender. Uh, what it does have is an amazing envelope that a lot of guitar players are getting hip to, but now with my little blend guy here. Great, great envelope filter. Uh, I'm using mainly the arpeggio just for weirdness, but uh, you can change the range of it. Let's just go straight effect for you all. And it basically gives you the, the width of how much of the arpeggio you're going to use. It's got the frequency, which works on the arpeggio as well, yeah? Yeah. So you can change the frequencies. I've had the thing forever, and I'm having to ask what the knobs do. And it's got a rate, so you can slow the arpeggio down, which is kind of cool. You know, it's nice. You can not move your fingers so much and get more notes, which is really good. Uh, and a volume, so you can kind of blend how loud the effect is when you kick it in and out. Um, and yeah, it's killer. I've got going with the arpeggio stuff, and then I'll just change the function 
to the uh, to the uh, envelope. Excuse me. The first one is just the arpeggiator, and this is just adding the the little um, envelope filter in there. pedal ever ever it really is that thing is yeah that's my favorite favorite thing I'm gonna end up with a pedal board full of these and other effects and just start really having fun with that stuff again it allows you to do that stuff you know it's cool <laughs> 